Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do barrels efficiently and even with your cannon. So we're not gonna use our cannon to kill the barrel brothers, but we're gonna use our cannon to get free reward potential while we are killing here the barrel brothers and this way it shall speed up our barrel trips. But first I'm gonna give you some more information how to kill the barrels efficiently as a first trip even if you want to use your cannon it's just a normal trip you can only use your cannon as a second trip. So if you want to focus on killing barrels the first important thing is that you complete Mauritania Heart Diary because it's giving 50% more runes. So this means for example if you want to do 100 barrel chests and you have completed Mauritania Heart Diary you will get around 2 million more profit from the bonus runes you will receive if you have completed Mauritania Heart Diary. So if you want to do barrels efficiently I will say first get 75 magic, 75 ranged and 70 defense will be good because you can wear Caril and Thorax but 70 defense is not really necessary. So it's way more important to have 75 magic instead of 75 ranged. If you do not have 75 ranged yet, you can kill the monsters here down with your Trinity of the Swamp. But with the method I'm showing, I'm mostly gonna get my reward potential from my cannon. So there will be no need for me to kill the monsters here downside. And in that case, you do not even need 75 ranged because you can just kill Agrim with your magic short bow or with your rune crossbow. And of course, if you just want to make more profit and you do not want to use your Trinity of the Swamp to kill the monsters here, you can also bring your whip or something. It's also fine to kill them with your whip. So here is the important moment. If you want to start using your cannon, you're gonna need to focus now. So first, we're gonna need to place our cannon here in the room with the chest, but we have to go with a world where a lot of people are doing barrels. That's very important to search a world where there's no cannon yet and where a lot of people are doing the barrels at the same time. So in the most corners there are some rocks and stones, so you cannot place your cannon. I think the only corner where you can place your cannon is southeast, so we're gonna place it here. So place your cannon and do some cannonballs in it. Be sure to place it in a corner and in the room with the chest. If you place it somewhere else here down, there is a chance you're not gonna be able to put cannonballs in it because the doors are different the whole time. So that's why you should choose for the room with the chest. Something else you can do if you do not find a world where a lot of people are doing the barrows is just opening the doors and put some monsters in the room with the chest. But it's not that efficient because you are losing some time and so on. So I will say try to find a world where a lot of people are doing barrels and place your cannon in the corner. So we're gonna kill one more monster here so we can open our chest with 100% reward potential. So let's show you this as well. We are starting with 80, in fact 79 barrel chests. So in this video I'm also gonna do 100 barrel chests and at the end I'm going to show you my loot from 100 chests. So now the important thing, we have placed the cannon, we're just gonna do the barrels as usual. But in the meantime, we are killing the brothers here right now, we're gonna get some reward potential from our cannon as well. So sometimes you will get 100% reward potential just from killing the brothers and your cannon will do the other work. And you can just go down, open the chest and get your reward even without killing the monsters yourself. Worst case, you only get 10 or 20% from your cannon and you still have to kill 3 or 4 monsters yourself with your blowpipe or your whip. So maybe you don't know test it yet, but we received 11% from killing Verak and we get another 5% already from our cannon. Also, we get some ranged experience from our cannon. So at the moment you are fighting with a brother, it's a non-multi zone, so your cannon cannot do anything right now. But at the moment you run to another brother, your cannon will be able to shoot some monsters there down and in that time you can get some reward potential. So right now we are at 28%, we just get another 12% from killing Thorax. So now we're gonna kill Kyril, we still are 28%. Something else that is important, so if you are thinking I have to go AFK for a couple of minutes and I want to get some reward potential from my cannon in the meantime, be sure to have the reward potential text in your screen, even if it's at 0%, but be sure you have it in your screen. 
If you kill monsters and the reward potential is not in your screen, there is a chance you're not gonna receive any percent to make progress, even when you are killing the monsters they're down. So we killed here Karil, we are at 38% reward potential. So we just received another 7% potential from our cannon, so we are at 45 right now. Also, something you do not hear in this video, but when your songs are on on RuneScape, you will hear when your cannon is attacking the monsters and also the moment that they die. So if you hear they die, you will see your reward potential will go up with a couple of percent. And you just received another 8% reward potential from killing some monsters with your cannon. So killing a grip with the pro pipe goes really fast. Also at the end of the video I do not show what armor I'm exactly using to do the barrels. Also at the end of the video I'm going to show you my loot from 100 chests and also what I'm bringing in my inventory for one trip. So if you still kept an eye on the reward potential, you saw after killing Agrim we had 67% reward potential and in the meantime we went from Ahrim to Darok, we get another 5% reward potential from our cannon. So right now we are killing our last battle brother before we have to go down. So let's see how much reward potential we will have after killing this one. Normally after killing the 5 brothers you should have around 54%. And we have already 84% so this means that our cannon already made 30% for us so let's go down now and see if we still have to kill a monster ourselves or not so sometimes you're only gonna get around 10 or 20% from your cannon and in the best cases you're not gonna need to kill any monsters yourself so we now just have to run back to the room with the chest refill your cannon be sure you do not forget that and just mostly kill the last battle brother sometimes kill one or two more monsters and you should be able to loot our chest so because we are here under combat the whole time our cannon cannot do anything right now so let's go to the room with the chest and you're gonna need to kill one monster ourselves because killing Gutang at the end is only giving us around 10 or 12% so now we just have to open the chest, something smart, if you have to kill the monsters just come to the chest room and try to pull them in front of your cannon as well so your cannon can help to kill the monsters. Do not pull the battle brothers in front of your cannon because mostly your cannon just aren't gonna hit zero on them and that's a waste of cannonballs. So this is kinda an easy way to do barrows without losing too much time of killing the monsters. Also you will be able to do more chest in one trip because sometimes people will lose food from killing the monsters and if your cannon is killing the monsters you will have more food left to focus on the battles. So that was kind of the part how to use the cannon, let's go to see what loot we have in our 100 chest. Our first good loot was the carol top at barrel chest 90 so our 11th barrel chest for this video. Our next barrel item was at chest 38, it was a carrier's coil so not that great. And at chest 87 for this video we have another carrier's coil so again pretty unlucky. So this is my total loot from doing 100 barrel chests. Let's use a price checker to see the total value. I also have one clue scroll elite, I probably could have more of them but because I kept it in my bank I only was able to get one. So the total value of doing one in battle chest was 8.5 million for me. So I was lucky to have the carol top but I'm pretty unlucky to only have three items in one in the chest I guess. Also I had two times the coif so that's unlucky as well. So the total value of the runes that I have from this one in the chest is above 6 million so this means I got like 2 million more from just completing Mauritania Heart Diary. So it's pretty important to do. So first of all my gear setup when I'm doing barrows. I'm going for a good defensive armor so I'm wearing thorax, thorax helm, thorax plate, thorax legs, also a dragonfire shield together with my trinidad of the swamp. To boost my damage I go for the occult necklace and the torment bracelet. Also I'm wearing the accumulator for if I'm chasing to my blowpipe. 
reward blessing to give some prayer bonus, an archer ring imbued, and also my Gutex Dragonhide boots. I'm also bringing my Carol skirt and my Carol top, together with the blowpipe, some barrel teleports. I'm bringing 3 stamina potions, 5 prayer potions, my cannonballs. If you're going for your first trip, you should bring your cannon as well if you want to choose for cannon. And then I'm just bringing a couple of monkfish, but you can bring shards as well. But mostly I have to drop some food at the start because I do not have enough inventory spaces to pick up my drops. With this gear setup and inventory together with the cannon, I'm able to do around 10 or 12 chests each trip. When I'm out of food or potions, I'm teleporting to Lumbridge, restoring my prayer, go to the bank there, take out some food and teleport back with my barrels teleport. That's kind of the way how I'm doing barrels. I hope this video can help you to improve your way to do barrels. Subscribe to my channel for more guides or any other videos. Thanks for watching.